Hi friends, welcome to my short term course on basic electronics. So let me introduce myself first. Myself, Amrinder Kumar, an electrical engineering student at SV Set Chip 2. So let me introduce about our courses. Our courses is on basic electronics. So we will discuss here some basic electronics components as well as basic ele electronic circuits so uh, now our topic is half wave rectifier full wave rectifier circuit so first we will see half wave rectifier one hour then we will see after uh, full wave rectifier so let's see rectifier so this is crystal diode rectifier so we need to know about diode diode is also a basic electronics component or device you can say that so first let me introduce something about diode diode is a two terminal electronic device which made from silicon right that the main property of diode is it allows the current in a single direction okay so that's what uh, we are using diode here in rectifier circuit so let comes to the rectifier circuit. Actually, what is rectifier circuit? Rectifier circuit is that circuit which converts AC to DC signal, right? Pure DC voltage or we can say that. The following two types of rectifier circuit can be used. One is half wave rectifier, another is full wave rectifier. So uh, let me give you one live example of rectifier circuit. See one live example. Uh, in our day-to-day -day life, all mobile chargers and laptop chargers are the best example of rectifier circuit, right? So rectifier circuit do like that. Uh, whatever AC comp AC signal is there, it converts into DC signal because our mobile and laptop and many more electronic device working on DC voltage only. They no need to AC because uh, in electronics gadgets, we are using diodes, amplifier, and all. All are working on pure DC voltage, right? So we need to convert the AC to DC because in our home and everywhere we are we have AC supply. So we need to convert into DC. So most important thing is rectifier circuit. So we'll discuss these things also how the mobile charger is working and how uh, it's making like a mobile charger we'll discuss more things later about mobile chargers so let me introduce first here about half a rectifier so next slide come to next okay sorry so half a rectifier right the process of removing one half of the signal to establish the DC level is called half wave rectification. Removing one half of the signal. So as you know that in AC signal we have two half. I mean one half is positive and another half is C here. One half is positive and another half is negative, right? So in AC signal in each cycle we have positive half as well as negative right so the line is saying like that the process of moving one half of the signal to establish the dc level is called half wave rectification right so see here in this example suppose rectifier is like that this is 230 volt ac supply with 50 hertz, 50 hertz frequency this is a step down transformer it's a step down voltage from 230 to 9 or 12 volt AC only. So here, this is one diode you are using in half a rectifier, right? So in positive half cycle, this one, positive half cycle, the diode D1 is conducting. I mean, this is in forward bias, conducting and current flowing through this like this. So positive half cycle, there is a same thing here. But in negative half cycle, the, this diode is in reverse bias so it blocks the current so in negative half cycle we have zero current again in positive half cycle we have current same as input 
while is negative again we have zero current so come to next slide so, half rectifier as you know that ac voltage across secondary terminal ab changes its quality after each half cycle right each half cycle it changes first half cycle is positive and another half cycle is negative the negative half cycle terminal a is negative this one uh, as they would got reverse bias and conduct no current so during negative half cycle point this one a a is negative here so this one is reverse bias then no current no current in here now so current flows through diode during positive half cycle right in this way current flows through the load rl in one direction Yes, of course, it's one direction because here input we are supplying two directional current positive as well as negative. But at load side, we are getting single direction current here, see? single direction current, right? So, come next slide. Now we see half wave rectifier and disadvantage of half wave rectifier. The pulsating current in output contains AC component whose frequency is equal to supply frequency so filtering is needed yes of course filtering is needed because pulsating current in output contains AC components whose frequency is equal to the frequency of input I mean the frequency of output rectified output is equal to the frequency of uh, AC in input so we need pure DC so in order to uh, remove the frequency or we can say ripple factor from the rectified output we need a filter such as capacitor filter or inductor filter okay so we will discuss filter about filter later the ac supply delivers power during half cycle only so output is low obviously output is low because in negative half cycle there is no current so obviously input side has more voltage but output we get less voltage due to its negative half cycle has no current right so now uh, let me give you, give you some time for think about this about half a rectifier if you have any doubt come to the forum and we'll discuss about this so next lecture we'll discuss about full rectifier okay thank you